Okay, um, so as we look to this story and, and beyond this story, because it goes so much further than that, what, is, what does this mean? A heartbreaking discovery for a community, for a country? What does it mean for searching unmarked graves in our province? For more, I'm joined by NDP MPP Saul Mamakwa. Good morning to you. Good morning, Melanie. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, we just played one clip here from a survivor of that residential school. And it's so very powerful. You, you have noted previously, when we hear these numbers, 215, 751, these are lives. These are lives that we have to remember and families. So when we hear these discoveries, what is sitting with you? You know, uh, there's a lot of, um, to be honest, uh, hurt. There's a lot of, you know, uh, it's infuriating. Yeah, you feel anger. You know, the unspeakable horror, the unspeakable truth. At, uh, and that's what indigenous people live with. They live with the, the trauma, the oppression, uh, the colonialism. And, uh, you know, and the, we see how it kills people. So, and I think it's very clear. Um, you know, we want to be able to move forward. And I think uh, one of the things as well is uh, FSI and uh, uh, Chief... Uh, Bobby Cameron said yesterday that we had con concentration camps here. And we did, and, uh, the and that those are the residential school, and I stand, them, stand with him when he says that. Uh, Canada must own up to its role in the genocide against Indigenous people in the country. And I mean, yeah, and, that, and what that means is, uh, you know, Canada must divulge all its hidden records and make the churches do the same, because... The world is watching. So you attended a residential school. You're a survivor of a residential school. Uh, you've been very outspoken for years about what is actually happening. And there seems to be, finally, some movement here. Um, the province announcing $10 million over the next few years to search former residential schools. Is that enough? And do you believe what is expected to be found will be found? You know, uh, it's going to be uh, the, these searches that's going to are going to happen. Uh, they're going to happen in on repeat, 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 and it continues to. Uh, uh, you know, the numbers that we see are. You know, um, they're not just numbers. They're actually, you know, children, and we need to be able to. I think uh, in moving forward, we need to be able to change the trajectory of thinking of the people in Canada the people in Ontario on what was Canada built upon. And it's so critical that all the resources, you know, uh, you know, all the resources be, you know, to find our loved ones, to bring them home. It's not, it should not be just a budgetary item, you know, confined to the, the federal, you know, you know, the 27 million, the 10 million in Ontario, you know, with nation, uh, you know, we, we cannot be fighting over, over the fund. We need to be able to move forward and change the trajectory of the thinking of the people in, across Canada. You know, this is the real Canada. This is what Canada was built upon, is, you know, on genocide. As we speak about this, we are a few days from July the 1st, Canada Day. We were having this discussion on the show earlier on how this day should be marked. How do you think it should be marked? You know, um, like, I mean, for me, it's, and it, it'll be hard to celebrate Canada Day. And it'll be, uh, but I think, yes, I think a lot of people should, you know, uh, you know, in their own way, but also it's important to acknowledge what this country has done to Indigenous people. It's important to recognize, you know, the, the, the children from Kamloops, the children from, uh, you know, uh, Kawas' First Nation. It's important to acknowledge that, and that's what Canada was built upon. And it's so important to acknowledge those, no matter where you are in Canada. MPP Sol Mamakwa, thank you for your time today. We appreciate it. Good to be here, Miigwech. All right, 7-Eleven is your time right now, and uh, we continue to have this conversation. We ask that you please do join in as well at Breakfast TV. You can always tweet us right there.